Hello everyone and welcome back to the high stress environment we all know and love which is eventing. Should have been quite a fun day today however we have run into a little problem in that poor poor Hobbs is having a mild panic attack now because the lorry on the way suddenly decided to make this weird noise every time we turned. So, it's gone from being quite a fun fun day to Hobbs now stressing about how we're gonna get home. But that's fine. That's not gonna change what you guys are gonna see. Well, it might a bit because we might not have camera woman and Hobbs, but it is gonna be an exciting day because it's Jamie's first event back since Badders and we are parked next to our besties. So Em has traveled up all the way from Cornwall. She's here in the 100 as well with Addy in a different section, thankfully. Um, so yeah, really, really lush to have her here, although she has gone off and walked the course now. But it's a planned slow run for Jamie. So it is a Cotswold Cup. We're at Ascot. Did I just say we're at Ascot under Witchwood? Oh, I don't know. My head's not working. Same place we were with Winnie when she had her win two days ago. Historically, Jam comes out after batters quite rowdy, <laughs> especially in the cross country. I often don't have money breaks which might not be the case because it's been so long since she vented we're now mid july i'll show and grab a saddle pad um, oh no that's the last thing she needs now jam she's already stressed um going there she needs a saddle pad so yeah today is about making sure that i've got breaks cross country because this quite possibly it's going to be my last run before my one star so we don't need to be competitive we just need to make sure that jam is really really listening and she's giving me a good ride and if she isn't then i need to fix it today oh we've got lumia and premier performance on this saddle pad very nice tread on it because it's new so yeah we'll see but it's my first time doing 100 at a cotswold cup good girl jammy are you going to remember what this is all about? Hobbs, this is why we can't have you. Okay. I didn't know if that was the right button. Right hole. The right button. <laughs> Hobbs has point blank refused to be mic'd up because this is a PG channel, guys, and the words she's been screaming, you don't want to know about them. Honestly. I'll be washing her mouth out with soap when we get home. Have I got stirrups? Yes. Do you wish we'd taken the Liberty box now, Hobbs? Yeah. Oh dear, Jammy, it's your fault. It's your fault, Jam Bam. Well, Daphne has not had a proper run since Badders. Mm -hmm. So we did think... <laughs> so this is why we've not mic'd her, guys. Hopefully you can't hear that. Yeah, Daphne, I hope you can't hear that, because that <laughs> would have hurt. She was doing really well, and then she just yeah, didn't do as well. Um, girth. We've really got to hope that we've got everything here today, guys, because that will be the kind of boiling point for Hobbs, I'd say. If anything goes mildly wrong now, we will all get shouted at. Jam, that is naughty, darling. We're not meant to do that. What are these strips do? Yeah, please. They do feel awfully long. I don't know whether to go up one. Oh. Oh. Yes. Alrighty. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Ads. House and Splash. to remember. I should have gone through it sooner. Good girl.
Hello everyone. So I have a bit of a confession to make. Spoiler alert, the lorry does not make it home with us. And sadly, my dressage test is still in the lorry and it's still not at home all these days slash weeks later. So sadly, I can't put the marks up on the screen. And we were also miles away. So Pete was having to use the big camera to zoom as much as he could but we do disappear behind the car a little bit. So I've decided this dressage test, I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit shorter, chop out any of the sort of stuff where I'm hidden or like all of the long walkie bits and we'll just look at some of the highlights. So overall, a fairly nice picture, but it's quite difficult for Jam not to look a nice picture, if you know what I mean. Like she goes pretty correctly and she does always just look quite sweet. I feel like I've got to defend why I wasn't happy with this test because if you're looking at it from this angle, it does look perfectly nice and we do get a perfectly nice mark. But there's little things that I kind of notice with Jamie because I know how well she can go at home that she's doing in this test, which is why we're not getting a really, really super mark. You kind of saw there just going across that diagonal. She was a little bit just distracted. She was coming up from her frame looking around, hollowing a little bit. Her canter transition, she hollowed, she came above the bridle again. And I just think she genuinely, generally even, is looking quite tense and just a bit against the hand, not very supple. And that is quite a common thing for Jan. We often do get comments about her needing to be more supple, especially through her sort of rib cage. She can go a little bit rigid in her body. But I just, Yes, she looks nice, but she doesn't look great, I think. And I remember when I was reading through the test, because I have had a look at the comments, I just can't remember exactly what they are and where to put them. But that was kind of the overall comments from the judge, was that she was just a little bit tense, needed to be a bit more supple, slightly sort of resistant in places, I'd say. But yeah, I feel like this is kind of foreshadowing what's to come. Not gonna lie. Anyway, a nice halt. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's let's get a look at the the live scoring from us. Ah, uh, right. Ray is here again, everyone, guys. I've Are been we lucky? To a mic. Hey, yeah. Oh, Treat to a mic because now. Hobbit is very. Have you? Has Pete filled you in? Yeah. You, yeah. The very Lord high stress. Having a high party. stress environment. Um, okay, so dressage. Definitely not our best test. I think Jam's quite pleased to be at a party again. She felt a little bit stiff and against my hand and just hard to be accurate on. Because every time I put my leg on, she was like, eh. Yeah. Um, but you said you think it looked better than it felt. I think it looked better than it did. I think the only thing I noticed was like in the downwards transition from Kanto, it was just like. Yeah. I think it's just little moments like that I've a seen her above. do better. But yes, I think she'll have definitely given some marks away. That show jumping looks massive. It does look quite big. <laughs> Doesn't it? But we have been at a lot. We were at a 60 yesterday. That and is before true. that, we've been to a lot of 80s. That is true. We so I think maybe we've got like. Good for a while. Like also, I need to get over it because if I want to go one star, yeah, it's yeah. going to be bigger than that. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, <laughs> score predictions, my love. Oh. I don't I know like how this the section is. I don't know how the section is. I have no idea. And obviously, it is at a higher level. Mm. <sighs> I think Jam often feels worse than she looks. I, I would agree with that. I thought she looked really nice, personally. I the judge was very smiley at the end. Oh, that's nice. Maybe she's a fan. She might just be a lovely judge. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I reckon, oh, I'm gonna go with 27. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, oh, I, I was gonna go Jan higher than I that. She looked, I did, I did think she looked nice, but. I don't know if it's a sub 30 I'm or not. I'm not a dressage gal, so. I'm gonna go say. for, I'm gonna go 30. Round, easy to remember, 30. Oh, Pete, what do you think? Pete says 29, everyone. Hello. Oh. I wasn't a massive fan of it. She was just a bit stiff and distracted, but I think, well, that's true. On the, on the babies, I come out of an 80 and I'm like, oh my God, they're so sweet. <laughs> um, no, she just felt like a bit stiff and resisting. Yeah, she's predicted 
high. No, yeah, the test high. is so weird. No, yeah, I was so going to say that. It's weird. weird bizarre. It's not very, like, mirrored Oh, my God. And because I was so, it? like, stressy after the lorry, I went out and I, like, went to run through it there and I was like, I can't remember any of it. Like, I just completely drew blanks. I've gone wrong. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. Someone next to me when I was going, they went in, still a horse before me, but they'd gone wrong so many times, they still, like, in while I was there. Yeah. yeah. So, no, but it was fine. Like, I think for her first party, it's bad as. Do you think that show to me looks quite big, or am I being a wimp? You're being a wimp. Oh, okay, Big that's fine. <laughs> Hobbit is MIA. She's MIA. She's in the lorry, isn't she? Probably. Should we give her a knock? Oh, jammy! Sorry, darling, she's making you dirty. She is. That's right. Already dirty. She's just a slobbery girl. Well done, Jam Bam. You have a nice break now. This is my first um, test in my new Fairfax dressage saddle. Oh. Thanks to National Saddle Centre. Yeah, she was all right. Definitely not her best test. She was a bit distracted and a bit like against my hand, you know, and she's just kind of looking around and you go to flex her and supple her and she's like, huh? So, but I don't think it was awful, and it's quite a good wake-up call ahead yeah, you of Wellington. Do. Yeah, go on. I thought it looked nice. I said 27 because I'm... I said 30. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you just never know, do you? Hobbs is like, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not rating You it. literally just never know. Go on, Hobbs, give us a rating. Give us a random rating. If you can add the mic now. <laughs> Hobbs rating is she wants to go home. Hey, hey, hey. So we've gone to look at the show jumping. Have I got a fly in my mouth? Nope. Um, and it's very weird, isn't it? Very twisty turny. Very, very twisty. It's like, like a show jumpers. Course. Yeah, just not very intuitive. Like whatever, when you want to turn a certain way, you should be turning the other way. Um, okay, so we're walking the course now for cross country and we're going to do what we did for Winnie and we're going to walk middle to middle rather than start to finish because it saves us walking up and down a gigantic hill twice. So let's start at Fence 5 and it says it will be raised and lowered for the appropriate course. So I guess we'll have a little bit more, a bit more forage on top. And then we don't go to my gorgeous little 80 centimetre log. We go to a step combo. Which is a bit, it freaks you out when you start a course in the middle. You're just like, oh my god, a step for fence two. There you go guys, 17. Far left. Don't forget it, Meg. And then number one is far right. So as long as we remember that, we're fine. Just being informed we have dressage. Are we pleased? 30. What? It is 31.5. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I was gonna go 31, but then you guys sprinkling out those low scores. Yeah, they're going up there. Um, yeah, do you know what? I think that's quite fair. It did not feel like her best test at all. I disagree. <laughs> I'm going to go to the judge and I'm going to say, nope. <laughs> Excuse me. No. I said 27. Yep, I said 27 from watching it. Through. We've actually got a wager of who can get the most right answers. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's fair. I was a bit meh about it. So it be interesting to read, read the comments. Right, we're going to find Fence 2. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> the lorry fell down. <laughs> Definitely broken. On the plus side, 
Hobbs is one step closer to getting her mechanics degree because she did know what was wrong with the lorry, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Daphne was like, who needs power steering? Not me. Let's just go home without it. So um, we've got a lovely gentleman here who has tipped her up and maybe gonna fix it enough to get home or maybe we're gonna have to be recovered so maybe King Kenny is gonna have a fun drive here in the Liberty Horse Box. We don't know. What we do know is this is possibly one of Hobbit's favorite days out of venting. And she's hungry, which is not good. But Em has had a cracking day so far. Do you know your dressage yet, Em, or are we keeping it secret? Okay. But she's just done a very, very good clear. Hannah's ruined it for me, though. Well, not ruined it, but I saw a message. Well done, Han. <laughs> Hannah, who, yeah. Delete her from the chat. <laughs> yeah. So she goes, why did you read it? And I went, because I was on my phone and it, and it popped up. up. Yeah. Maybe we need to have a rule about not texting each other. Yeah. We are all bad. Like, it's not just Ham. We're all bad for it. Yeah, mine's not very good. Well, not not very good, but like, I wasn't, I wasn't pleased with this. She's got a 31.5. So like, fine, but we need to, it, it'll kick my bum into gear for Wellington kind of thing. Yeah. Show jumping time and I have just watched this back and I do I am a bit cross with myself because I think there are little tiny jammy signs that I shouldn't have actually bothered going down to cross country because she obviously wasn't feeling her normal self but they're not very obvious because if you watch this probably without me talking it through you'd think it looks like a really beautiful round like jam is jumping so neatly and ironically I'm actually quite pleased with my riding other than the last double I think it's it looks like a pretty good round but there are just little things that I'm picking up on because I know Jammy so well so if you watch her over that oxer that's kind of the first obvious place where it's like hmm this isn't my normal jam so one of the best things about jam is that she's she's a very very good jumper and she's got a very good back end and she normally will kick her back legs up really high and it will follow the kind of motion of the jump. But you can see in this round, she's going up very, very high. And instead of her back end sort of following through with her bascule, she's scooping it under and tucking in. This is where I didn't ride very well, but Jam's just got the most amazing footwork. But that sort of way of her jumping isn't normal for her. And it is something that I should have picked up on more. She just, she's just not looking her normal self. And although it was a clear round, it really isn't a good jammy round, if that makes sense. was very good to be fair I'm not actually that upset with my riding other than to the last double where it just came up so quick I really wasn't expecting it to come up that quick I was coming in I had such a tiny canter and I was like oh no this is a really long stride and it's an oxer in but Jab was so clever that she just put two in um, she was going so high I think sky high but that's not necessarily a good thing for her like sometimes it's just when she's a bit out of it that's like her default is to go too high so i think i should have i should have been riding her more forward because when she gets deep she just goes Poof. like it's a really cool feeling but it's it's not you know it's not what we need and it's more effort for her and it's more um more strain on her joints and everything 
But no, I'm pleased with her. She was, I was a bit worried about her in the warm up. I thought she, she felt just a bit meh. But she, you know, she jumped beautifully in there. So we'll go and have a good fun round cross country. I think she's probably not really as fit as she should be. So um, I don't think we'll worry about the time at all cross country. We'll go out, make sure we've got breaks, but also just use it as a fitness and making sure that I'm getting my eye back in with these bigger fences. Good girl. Yes, she went clear. Yay. I um, doesn't that second double come up so fast? Yes. I was and like, seven and eight. Seven yeah, six, I was like, yeah. I was trying to like put my strides in. And I was honestly, I was going so slowly. I was like, do I just pull her out because this is mean to make her jump that ox so much? I was like, don't worry. So she put two in there, but no, really pleased. She was very clever. You always are, Jam Bam. Oh, well done, Jam. I'm very pleased with you. I'm really sorry about that double. I will try not to do that too cross country if you want. She's like, yeah, don't worry. I can get out of it if you want. <laughs> oh, at least that's over and done. It's weird after doing like nothing but 70s and 80s for six weeks. You're suddenly like, she jumped clear. Yeah. She like she was jumping high, like very, very high. Um, I messed up my second double and so she had to put two strides in for me. Good girl, Jam. Get your plats out, baby girl. Plats time. You were very good. Guys, we're allowing Pete to end the vlog here, so you, you might see me next time. You want the handheld? Where can you use handheld? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'll be fine. We want nice reels of Em. Go to Em's Instagram to see the nice reels. No pressure then. No, yeah, make, make sure they're nice, darling. Bad to be cross country! Seven and third row for the Royale. Just the horse that she loaned from Charlotte Smith. And this right here is why we love Equireal so, so, so much because. We didn't have our little mishap on camera because it was right at the far end of the course, but because Equireal film every single fence, we get to watch it back on here. So, appalling start from me out of the start box. Like, Meg, seriously, what was that? But we had had the longest wait down in the warm-up. I'd been there probably, definitely over, over 40 minutes, possibly even an hour. So, both of us had completely gone off the boil a little bit, but we did get going, like, we're in a nice enough rhythm over those first two. But I remember going up that little narrow path and feeling like I needed to shimmy jammy on a bit, and I was like, hmm, that is bizarre. Here, again, more appalling riding from me, just pull, 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 and I think I was just really getting into my head. And that is where we have our issue. And you'll see Jam sort of slow down, was like oh okay I'm gonna go and then was instantly like mm, no so I was like okay that's fine let's just reapproach camera on again and again she sort of she slips a foot down as if she's gonna go and then quickly pulls back and at that point I was just like mm, something is not right like this isn't jammy and whether she's not feeling right or whether she doesn't understand it either way this horse owes me absolutely nothing and there was no need to force her going down so I retired, little Pat, and we walked off course, and that was that. This is not the end of Prospect that we want. Really, really bizarre. We were down in the start box for ages, not start box, the warm up, and I could just feel her going completely off the boil and almost like really hanging to home. And I was like, this is weird, I do not want to go. Then she set off really well, like really pleased, jumped the first five nicely, had a bit of a funny jump at number five, but like by the by and then got to the steps and she just completely said no and she kind of like felt like she was gonna go and then i think she scared herself um so i came around and re-approached and she said no again and i was like hmm that's probably probably jammy telling me no so decided to not try another time and just save her for another day but definitely not the run i was hoping for my last one before um well, I'm gonna, it won't be my last one before the one's done now. I'm going to have to find something else to do because we can't end on this. But yeah, more worries than anything else because it's just not like her to be that adamant she's not going. The thing is with Jam is if she thinks it's at all dangerous, then she won't go. And it, she 
doesn't she's not seen loads of steps and that kind of like double of steps yeah um but yeah disappointing at least but we'll see i don't know i don't know where to go from here i think i'll see how she is tomorrow and make sure i'm happy with her soundness and then try and get across country schooling do some steps if you if you think she's fine and then yeah find another event <laughs> Isn't it yeah. difficult? I think we'd both gone so off the boil. And I think the whole lorry thing is just maybe yeah. still. We're both all right. Yeah, that's so what matters. That's all that matters. That is all Safe that matters. Then. Here he is. She would not go down the step. No. She properly said no, which isn't like her. So we kind of have to trust her. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I was like, she definitely should have come come by by now. It was, it was like so hard to get out. Oh, yeah. Nothing bad's happened. I was like, I'll wait there just in case you come on by. I'm being Pete. Advised, I'm like, oh, yeah. Pete. Pete. <laughs> it's a deflated Pete. So I'm all right. You're all right. You don't really care. I do care. I'm all right. <laughs> it's all right. There's always another day. Annoying. Well, there is always another day, but there's not another jam. And when stuff like this happens, it's worked out. Where are my sunglasses? It's her first ever cross-country fault, which is a bit like, oh, just makes you think, doesn't it? I'm worried there's something wrong with her. Anyway. It's fine. We'll see how she is this week and then we'll come up with a plan if we're happy that she's sound. Come up with a plan. I've already found somewhere I can go to. Close. And do another hundred. Aston. Away. Not that close. But it's, it works timing wise. Um, so yeah. Oh. There are my sunnies. It's not the best day. It's just been one of those days where everything's kind of gone wrong. So. There we go. But as Pete said, it's all happened on one day because his car malfunctioned. Mm -hmm. The lorry, <laughs> the lorry has died a death. The, the lorry can't take us home, which is another just, no, it's just stress on our head. Injured. She's injured. Yeah, that's true. So we're waiting for Jam to be recovered. Luckily, we have very good breakdown service coverage who can come and recover the horse rescue the horse and then me and mum will go back with jam what do we know when the lorry's picked up what did the organizers say oh you must be <laughs> yeah the lorry's gonna be recovered at some point today hopefully but we need to speak to the organizers because it potentially is going to be here because we've got really late times it's not ideal right jam bam you're either trying to tell me something's wrong or you're a naughty naughty girl and you just said no and you th thought actually this is going to work she just didn't i don't know she just didn't feel great from the get-go be interesting to watch her show jumping back even the show jumping just felt a bit like she was going too high maybe it was lack of confidence but she jumped so well the other day when i took her just jumping anyway Oh, that's a good spot, isn't it? I know, okay, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you right, good round. Yeah, it was good. Guys, we've got a slight issue in that this stud. What did you just call it? Out. Chinese I puzzle. It, no, so it's having Kylie Minogue up in this joint, just spinning round. <laughs> it gets worse the second time. It does. <laughs> Um, the delivery was better the first time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, I mean, it's stud nice. looks like it should come out, but it's, it is Are you literally just spinning spanner? around. Hey? Are you trying to nick my spanner? Oh, did I just nick your spanner? Yeah. Do you want to know something really funny? I think I nicked that red thing from you one, once upon a time as well. This one? Red what? Red what? No, that one is my one. Oh. I mean, have you just... Oh yeah, I've tried, I've tried nabbing that. No, the red, you would like a red tap or something. So you always like Tina's. <laughs> Mine now. I'd keep quiet. <laughs> she doesn't like doing studs anyway. Oh, Jams is out. I wish I was having the best day. That ain't coming out. <laughs> I know, but I can't travel her in that, can I? Just take her shoe off. <laughs> Probably easier. 
That's really weird. I've never had that. No, nor have I. Sorry, Jen Bam. Right, on the way up, I blame Susie for all of this stud problem. Because, uh, what's, she, what's Susie done? She said, she goes, have you ever had a problem with your studs? Like, putting them in or anything? And I went, thankfully, no. Like, they yeah. sometimes cross-thread, but Ooh, no. transport them up here. No. Oh, no, that's not. I need to get this stud out. Hello. Well, there must be a farrier yes. here. Yes. Yeah, yeah mum's gone to try and see. Yeah. Huh? Oh, amazing. No. Can you break okay. Stuff. There we go. <laughs> right, what did you take? Sorry, we're just taking her to the barrier. We can't get this stud out. <laughs> Thank you. I reckon they're going to have to take that shoe off. No, they'll just go to ply it out, no? If they have to. All will be revealed in a minute. This is what we need to see. <laughs> so, this is the little blighter. He just got his big old pincers. Straight out. Loved it. The hero of the day. He said you will not get a stud back in that shoe though, so get it reef done before eventing next. Uh, I think she is due fairly soon to be fair. Right, transport is here. Yay, now we get to transfer all of our stuff. I know, I know. so it's horses, isn't it? But she just seems a bit weird. Like she's just a bit like, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, she does often get quite sleepy. We'll see. Oh, Jammy. We'll see, why Jammy. Why can't ponies just talk? I know, why can't they be like, I just didn't fancy that step. And then I'll <laughs> be like, clipping? okay. She, yeah, she's meant to be clipped after this event. That was mm. my plan. But she still was like, she was really whizzy and kind of raring to go. Yeah. She looked happy going down to cross yeah. country. Yeah, yeah, and she was like all over the place. Um, but you know. Do you want me to hold her, dear? Oh, that would be amazing. Thank you. Hannah Teamwork Hannah. makes what the dream. What have you got to do? Work. Oh my goodness, you've got to put that. Well, I'm just You're thinking. not all going to fit in there. No, Pete's got his car. <gasps> yeah, I know. No, Imagine. Pete's walking. Imagine. What's that? <laughs> Nothing. You said away. <laughs> what, an hour and 40? Yeah, I'm off now, anyway. There's that, right. se there's that sexy day. walk again. Hello, everyone. Meet our new chauffeur, <laughs> Anita. So obviously you guys saw that the lorry broke down and we've very kindly been rescued because we have a horsey breakdown cover. Like that Goodness. is something that everyone needs to definitely have. Yeah, check, go and check now. In these everybody. Yeah, everyone go and check. Make sure you've got a horsey breakdown cover. Um, so yeah, we are nearly home actually. We're 10 minutes from home. Jamie has traveled beautifully. We've had excellent driving. Yes, thank, thank you, you very, very much. Awesome. AB Equine Transport for all your transporting needs, everyone. Keep your arms down. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> very aware that my hair looks horrific. I'm not even really in it. Um, <laughs> yeah. What a day. One what of those days. Day. It really is. But, but it's, it's ended well. We've had a nice We've had a really ride, nice journey with Anita. <laughs> None of us have had a kit, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we have. We've had a mint time. Yep, we've, we've shared the pizza, which will be lovely. Very, very cold, because the aircon is absolutely killing it in here. Um, yeah. And everyone's safe and sound. We're all safe and sound. Thing. And Anita's been lucky enough to have a full debrief from me <laughs> <laughs> about my round, and the many reasons as to why Jam potentially could have stopped and might have not stopped. And we've decided we're gonna look into her feet, make sure she's happy with her feet, because we think downward steps possibly just feeling a bit footy possibly feeling a bit footy and there's been a lot of grass we're thinking if she's had too much sugar in the grass she might just be feeling it a bit in her feet so potentially pads is the way to go the lorry's still at ascot <laughs> yeah, we've, we've just <laughs> the abandoned it still there i mean the keys are there if anyone wants <laughs> it <laughs> yeah exactly you can't turn <laughs> if anyone wants a free lorry fill your boots but you yeah, will don't struggle. send this out tonight <laughs> we're not that fast at editing no chance uh, no, no, it's nearly 8 o'clock. Has it gone 8? Oh, probably. Yeah, 7 oh, minutes well. Goodness me. Gosh. Oh, Pete's got home though, that's the main thing. Oh, that's good. Um, right, my arm yeah. is now. Alright, your arm's aching. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll catch up with you with Jamie safe and sound in her field, guys. It's just been a bit of a crazy week. And we're all over the place. Yeah. But we'll yeah. catch up with a little report about how Jam is when she gets She'll home. She'll be grand. She's we'll asleep. Jenga. We can see her. We made it! <laughs> we're also making... Uh, Full use of the service here, guys. Hey, Jam Jam. Getting a need to, to actually unload Jam. <laughs> Could get used to this. Oh, hang 
What am I doing wrong? No, I'm doing okay. Yeah, she's home. Good girl. Just not in Daphne. Good Come girl. on, curly whirly. Oh, yeah. Right. What are you doing? Oh. She's a bit confused. Thank you so much. She says I haven't been sold. She says I haven't been sold. She says Oh, that was really mean princess. telling me I've been sold going with a different box. <laughs> so Shouldn't crazy. stop, Jamba. That's what happens. Do you want me to muck that out for no, you? I'll ask if that one is set. You're good. good girl. Ah, don't know what the time is. Come on, you don't need to be hand grazed, madam. I think part of the issue is that you're a little bit chunky. Ah, what a day. What a day. Massive, massive shout out to Anita. A, B equine transport i believe it was but i'm gonna make sure i pop up her instagram tag and website on here because it's the kind of thing worth following because you never know when you're gonna be one of these situations where you're gonna need rescuing obviously today was all organized through our breakdown cover which we should all have very very good good that we do have it and we've made use of it um but yeah she was amazing got us home safe and sound and just took a lot of stress out of uh yeah just the worry of trying to get the horse home i mean we don't really know what's going on with the horse box um that is there hang on hang on treats oh, yes, so we'll take those treats right bye little monster um main thing is jammy is home safe we're home safe might need to fill up that water and yeah we've just had a rubbish day rubbish rubbish day it's kind of all it just all went bad from the get-go you know when you just like everything just feels a little bit not right and the lorry did not put me in a good headspace as soon as we arrived because it was just so stressful hey teds sorry not got a treat for you yeah so stressful that last kind of 10 minutes of the journey when the power steering was starting to go and then getting there and thinking right how are we going to get this pony home so don't think that put me in a good headspace and i think it, everything was just unpolished the dressage was very unpolished and I kind of knew at that point with Gem she just felt really distracted like she was looking around and normally she's kind of head down like focused wants to do a good job where she really wasn't like that today show jumping like it was I've not watched the round back to be fair so I didn't feel like it was terrible other than that second double but she was just going so high and that is something she does if she's a bit kind of unsure and I don't know if she's just unsure because she's had it has been a long time since badminton I mean it's been two months I keep thinking it's been six weeks but it really hasn't it's been more than two months because it was the start of May and we're now you know two-thirds into July so yeah <laughs> trying to work it out so yeah it's just hard isn't it because you're I'm just weighing everything up now. Like, is it because I was stressed and I wasn't riding my best and Jam's had a long break and she just wasn't coming out her best either? So, like, is that combination of us two both a bit... Well, is that what's happened or is she not feeling right? Which I really hope isn't the option. I can deal with her saying no and her not feeling like doing it because she just can't be asked. but I can't deal with her not being right <laughs> anyway we're home safe these things happen it really is it's really not a big deal if it's just a blip and it's my fault because it was lack of training and i didn't ride it very well i definitely didn't ride it very well because i was i'm you know i'm a bit complacent with jemmy she's so good i realize we have technically had a fault cross country because obviously i fell off a victim but she's never stopped cross country but she's not seen loads and loads of steps Sounds a bit wild. I don't go cross country schooling enough. Um, yeah, who knows? Who knows what it is, but we will get to the bottom of it. And my head, Wellington is still the plan, Wellington one star, but you know, <laughs> isn't it typical you announce these things to the world? Like I announce them to all of you guys. 
Because I really wanted you guys to be part of, a part of the journey, but that's kind of why I left the announcing till so late. Because I wanted to be really, really sure I was doing it. And then it's classic. As soon as I do that, we then have our biggest ever hiccup to date. Anyway, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You guys will just have to stick around even longer, won't you? And wait till next year when we can hopefully do it. I found, like I said, Aston, I can reroute to. If she's feeling fine, she can go to that, which is ahead of the Wellington. Worst comes to worst, I enter Wellington and I have to withdraw if she's not feeling like she's in the right place. Like that'll just be something that I'll know going in and I'll just have to swallow the costs doing that if, yeah, if that's how it works out. <laughs> Deflated. Deflated. One of those days, isn't it? Horses are, God, it's nearly nine o'clock. Horses are great levelers though. Funny how Winnie's there on Friday winning and it was like the best day. Like, oh, it was so good. So, so good, had the best time. And then, yeah, we get these runs where you just feel, feel really pat. It's not even the result, it's just, it's the worrying about Jab. It's because it's so out of character for her to stop. Who knows, who knows, but we've got a plan. And excitingly, I am actually off to Simon's a week tomorrow for a one-star training camp with some very familiar faces. Um, so yeah, all being well, Jamie will still go to that and we can work through things there because we are going for a cross-country schooling session on the grass. So yeah, one of those days, one of those days, but we're all safe all that matters we're all safe apart from daphne who is stranded in a field moral of the story we should have taken the liberty horse box <laughs> oh dear right thanks for sitting through this guys i'm sure it's not been the most entertaining one but alas it's having horses isn't it oh it's getting dark right i live love love you Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.